guys, today I'm going to do a vlog video, I actually filmed a video before this, but I'm doing a vlog video which is probably going to go up sometime this week on my main channel and this is really random and some of you guys might not like it, but I decided to start a whole new kind of series on this channel which will be kind of my current obsession. I think a lot of people have this kind of video on their channel and I would like to talk about mine and I just think that would be fun instead of doing like favorites where I can only go so much into it I can only go like certain things into it I can actually go into it in depth and whatnot and it'll be really interesting so yay we're gonna do a video and I'm gonna be so nerdy right? and be so fandom if that's even a word fangirl I'll be a huge fangirl during this video and so sorry about that then it was gonna be like Annoying. Um, yeah, so, you probably know by the title, but this is going to be a video about Doctor Who. I actually just started really getting into Doctor Who. Basically, the first series, or as the American plot season, was so boring to me. I did not like The Doctor. I did. I like Rose, and that's the only reason I continued watching it. And I just didn't like it very much. And then I was like, the new Doctor was announced. If you guys don't know, the new Doctor was announced. Um,. I think August something, like second or something like that, and so it was Geek Week on YouTube, it actually like, was sponsored or whatever, whatever like that, so I clicked on it and I watched it, and I was like, ooh, how is this gonna work? Because <laughs> the guy's really old, he's like the oldest doctor to be the doctor in the reboot, and it's so weird, um, but anyway, yeah, so I was like, hmm, I kind of want to watch Doctor Who. So I started watching it again and I kind of got into it. I got into the more interesting episodes because the first few episodes in series one is really boring, honestly, and I don't like the Doctor, like I said, so it's really, it was really hard for me to watch. Then I got through it and now, like, and obviously I think it was David Tennant's um, works that made me really into it. I really like David Tennant. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, he was actually in Harry Potter, which I never noticed that he was in Harry Potter, but he's one of the bad guys. And Honestly, I love Harry Potter, if you guys didn't know that, and there's actually a Harry Potter reference in one of the video, not the video, <laughs> episodes, and I think this is hilarious, it's not even hilarious, I'm just glad that I'm wrong, and I just, I don't know, I love Harry Potter, so, if someone's in Harry Potter, it's going to be excited, and Moaning Myrtle was also in one of the episodes, and, oh my god, that's all the British people that I know have been on Doctor Who at some point of their lives, which is really exciting to me, um, not all, but most of them, and it's probably because it's a really known show in Britain, or England, England, in England, so, yeah, I really, really like it, and I know there's a bunch of spin-offs, that's kind of sad, because I'm up to series 5, and there's only 6 series on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, on Netflix, and I know there's only 7 series, I think there's 7 or 8 series are out. And so I was like, oh my god, that's gonna suck, I'm not gonna be able to watch a lot of things, it's gonna be over, which is, eh. So I'm gonna end up probably watching Tortoise if I like it, I'm just gonna probably, after I finish Dante, I'm just gonna watch an episode or something like that. Sarah Jane Chronicle thingies, I don't know what they're called, the Jer Sarah Jane Smith series is, um, and stuff like that. I have not even caught up with Pretty Lies, like I've been hooked to like, Dante, which is funny, it's only been like, I started watching it maybe last Monday, give or take. Um, no, I started watching it on the 6th. Right now, it's the 11th. So, I got pretty far um, with in the short span time. Let's see. The 6th days, and I got through 5 years. 5 seasons of it, so it's pretty legit. Uh, yeah. Give or take, I was halfway through one, but whatever. Uh, and I think when David Tennant left the show, I was really heartbroken. And I think his wife is so pretty, like that's where I'm back to get this. Um, she's so pretty. And oh my gosh, I think my favorite companion. This, I feel like this video would only be interesting to someone who actually likes Doctor Who, but I'm sorry. Um, anyways, um, I really like my favorite companion from most of the series, the show. I don't know, series. Most of the, the show has been uh, Billy's character, so Rose, Rose Tyler, who's been my favorite. Uh, 
But now that I'm on series 5, I think my favorite right now has to be Amy. Amelia Pond. I really like her. I think she's really awesome. Um, I'm kind of, like, I don't want her to ever leave the show, but I know that companion should leave, and I just, that, that breaks my heart. Um, but I'm obviously not up to that yet, so I'll take it when it comes. But yeah, and I don't, honestly, someone might kill me for this. I don't think that Matt Smith is cute at all. Like, I think he, I don't know, I, I don't find him attractive, honestly. But I do like his character. Like, I'm not going to say I don't like his character. Because the doctor does change. Like, his persona and everything changes when he, like, regenerates. So it's really cool. And I really do like his personality in this season. Um, even though I like Ten David Tennant so much. Because I've only seen the, the 2005-ish versions. I haven't seen, like, the classic ones. Or, like, in the 80s or the 70s or whatever. I haven't seen those. So I can't really like my all time favorite man and all time favorite Billy. Um, but the master, I hope sorry for the master. I honestly felt sorry for the master. Um honestly. Um you know what any of these things mean. Um but yeah, um the really a self I think it's a really good show. And I think that if you have never watched it, you should watch it. Um if you haven't seen the show yet, you should start with the episode, I think it's called Blink. Um, it's like it's being I think it's the most coveted episode of Doctor Who in this so I think you should watch that one. That one actually like you wouldn't think you like I thought I was gonna hate it. At first Doctor Who isn't really in it very much. But he is, but he's not. He's not the main character in this. So I thought I wouldn't like it, but I did end up liking it. So I think it's really awesome. And it's all the first like you go on Tumblr and search Doctor Who. The weeping angels are everywhere. So yeah. Uh, also, if you guys like Doctor Who and you have a Tumblr, tell me some cool Tumblrs that I should follow. Um, yeah, and if there's any cool, sorry, and if there's any cool Twitters or anything, there's like anything I should follow or like on Facebook or whatever, just tell me about them and I will try to go check them out. Um, yeah, tell me about them. I feel like this video is probably going to be semi-long. I don't know how long it is, but I feel like I've been talking for a long time. I thought that through, and I was wondering, that's okay. Oh, before I go, before I go, I did this with fan art. I will probably, I'm just going to show you guys. I'll just show you guys in this, so that it's all in one place, more or less. So, I drew Donna. I don't know if this is going to be in focus, but I drew Donna. And, yeah. And then. I drew Amy at age seven, but she doesn't look seven at all. I cannot like when I when the character's supposed to look young, I can't make them look like young. When it's supposed to look like like an adult, they look like a kid. So I'm not. This is Amy in her pajamas when she met the doctor. I really like it. Uh, this is my picture of. Rose. Again, I don't know. This is in frame. And this is in the time of Angel's um, one. I really like how she was back. I flew her. And this is Amy again. I haven't finished this one, but this is Amy and Doctor. Another picture of Amy. You can tell Amy's a favorite character. I've drawn it so many times. Yes, that's all of my drawings. I, most of them are Doctor Who in five drawings. Um, some of them are doodles, but, um, yeah, you know, it's very exciting. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, and hope you guys have a nice day, and I was not too annoying if I was not. So, yeah, there's, like, flies everywhere, and they're bothering me. I'm trying not to be bothered by them. I'm meant to see them on film. It's a kid. Nah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!